Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Tea Time is an entertainment analysis show that covers everything popping in the industry about your favorite personalities and also covers the biggest stories in the world of entertainment and lifestyle. My name is Ife Omai and I'm not alone. Doing the talking with me is my very own namesake and co anko Ife Olua Oshunke. <laughs> Thank you. How's it Always going? Good, man. I'm man. How you doing, man? I'm okay. I'm okay. Let's do this after the show, yeah, shall, yeah, we? shall we? we, we, shall, we shall. Can we? Can we just go right into it? We shall. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reno Omokri, a former aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, an influencer, if I do say so myself, has advised men again to never eye their wives' money. Reno has dropped another of his nuggets on Instagram and told men to make their own money because their wife's money isn't theirs. In his words, and not mine, Dear husband, your money is meant for you, your wife, and your children to spend. But your wife's money is not meant for you to spend. Do not even think about it. Do not make plans for it. Pretend it doesn't even exist. Never, hide, never eye her money. Leave it for her and the children. Make your own Make your own. Men who put their eyes on their wives' money hardly progress. It is against nature and good judgment. Yes, two shall become one, but you are the head of the family. A head, a head is designed to carry weight and not just to lord it about. Carry the weight. Well said. Well said. I, I feel like a lot of Lagos babes will like this statement. But what's your thoughts? I totally can't disagree with Nuggets. Like I said, with Nuggets, with Reno or Mercury on this particular Nuggets because um, it makes a lot of sense, you know. It's okay for a woman to be supportive, but as the head of the house, as the man, as the person who is actually getting married to the woman, I think it's only right for you to know that, look, and money, don't be calculating your wife's money for you and all of that. Like, they can't be... You can't be calculating your wife's money, saying that this is how much she makes, so this is how much you should bring to the table, and all of that. Play your part, and then I think where the problem lies, where a lot of men begin to focus on their wife's money, is when the woman becomes selfish, you know. A lot of women tend to be earning a whole lot more, but they will still ask you for the smallest mm. things and you're wondering that that way that's a turn off for mm. a lot of men because you know that this person can actually yeah. afford this but because they say you're the head of the family then must i buy the pure yeah. water yeah. Own? must i buy the table water own? Yeah. do you understand when these are basic things that you can do yourself so i understand where a man should take sole responsibility of the house but at the same time do something do something but when it's now an, a, a habit for a man to now be saying that okay you you make so so amount me i make so so mm. amount so you are bringing this i think that's a big problem yeah but if you're with a woman who you know who is um very free spirited a lot of them would even be especially this new gen i don't know the type of women a lot of men meet hmm. right but i know for a fact that the women that i meet have always been supportive alongside because my, they're kind of I don't know. I don't know who he's talking about, but it doesn't work for me at all. I don't like the idea of head and neck and leg. I've never mm. really liked it. I think it's very backward and I'm hoping for it to end. There should be a partnership, right? Mm. And if it is that the man is more capable in the financial aspect mm. to lead in that relationship, mm. go ahead. But because you are a man, so therefore it means... You must spend your money. I don't think it's that clear cut and that simple for me or personally. Like I've seen homes where the man isn't that financially stable, right? And the woman is doing yeah. all that. And then the man is actually more domesticated and helps around or whatever it is that works for their relationship. That should also be able to fly. Mm -hmm. But to say that your money isn't, the wife's money isn't your money, I feel like <laughs> you are giving space for... Um, a power imbalance because then i i feel where you're coming from mm. but that that would work more in this modern day theory right with the modern mm. day theory but if you want to look at it from precedence from culture the the the, the society hasn't helped us as well the patriarchal mm. society yeah of you have to be in charge as a yeah. man you have to be the one to carry all the responsibility yeah. matter of fact you see some families where the daughters are making more money than the sons yeah right but if anything happens and the family needs money, they go to, go to the, the, the sons, sons. Mm. even though they know that the, yeah. the girls too are making money. The daughters I, I, I can are only money. see that creating problems. I don't see how that's going to be beneficial to anybody. It's going to create 
more toxic masculinities, a lot of pressure for the men. You're supposed to have a partnership and work together. So why on earth would I say that your money is our money, but my money isn't our money? Then like I think Reno, Reno, Reno. A lot of times, I think he has good intentions on what he wants to say, but mm. you know, he doesn't balance it out yeah. or articulate it properly yeah. because. Um, what you're saying now, I saw reason with him, but I'm also seeing reason yeah. with you. Because um, if you start calculating a woman's money, it's also a big problem. You as know what? Man, I would agree, man, I would agree to problem. this statement if it applies for women as well. I think I would advise every single woman that's married that don't calculate a man's money. Have your own money. Make sure that you are also sorted in a way that you can but stand you on your own and take care of your family. Then the two of you would decide how that is. And it shouldn't be based on sex. It should be based on capacity. Thank Am you. I capable of paying the rent more than you? I'm sure you guys are not have don't mm. have the same job and the same position and the same, you know, inflow or whatever. Somebody must have there must be some type of disparity with ex with uh, what's it called? With uh, expenses. So use that as a means to decide who's going to take care of what, in my but, opinion. Um, I, I don't know. But like I said, it's if you want to go with the modern day theory, with precedence, if you want to go with Blake or right now, if you want to go, the person who goes out to bring food back home is the man. The, the, even in the animal kingdom, the ones that go hunting, uh, I, I, don't know animals, <laughs> but this I was even going to support women there because I think a lot of female animals are <laughs> even the ones that yes, go out to bring thingy, food. But, you know, mm. I mean, if it suits you, if it works your boat, of So course. whatever works for you. Of but course. at the end of the day, please do not calculate anybody's money. Make your own money. Yeah. That's just I do it. like the statement where he said, if I'm going to just agree small, he said, if you're going to carry yourself as the head of the house, if that's how you work, then of course carry that weight. And I think that's also important. It isn't just about having the title and making decisions and telling your family what to do. I think that's also do. a big problem because you're telling me that the fact that I am not financially capable, it's okay for my wife to disrespect me. Mm, you see what I mean? Like, you can't get anything good from it. Anyway, let's move that's on. That's why I said it, it has good intentions, but not well articulated and not well balanced out. Alrighty. You've heard you've, you've heard your fear. Popular online comedian Taoma has become a trending topic on Twitter following a tweet that says that she's just not funny. The tweet has sparked reactions from Nigerians on Twitter who are divided about her comedy. While some think that Taoma is funny, others think that she is not funny at all. Just to read a few things of what has been said, starting off, we have popular journalist Fisayo Showombo who tweeted, Somebody wrote, Taoma is not funny. And he's had almost 1K agreement retweets in less than five hours. What a shame. Even if you honestly thought she isn't funny, what is the value of publicly advertising your dislike for her honest hustle? Let not your envy head you to suicide. Another tweet from at Mayoveli says, if someone who has had a traumatic experience with domestic abuse says she doesn't find Tauma funny, um, Tauma slaps funny, I'd give them a pass. Another person says, Alex Loba Loba, it's not that Tauma is not funny. The issue is, situations are getting tougher. Full subsidy has been removed. There is a hike in electricity tariff. Hence, people's sense of humor have declined drastically. Comedians can solve, can't solve people's frustrations. Everybody just take bar. What do you think of it? Okay, so personally, I feel like if you ask me, the funniest comedian especially social media, online comedian, presently, is Tauma. And ah. it's amazing that we've had her on this table. Yeah, we yes, have. because um, um, the reason why I would choose Tauma is because I can go on and on and on and watch all a uh, release kit that I haven't seen. You know, mm. I can miss a few days, a week, two weeks. But by the time I go back, I laugh back to back. But I can mm. do the same for all the other internet comedians that I follow, right? Even and twi twice, T-W-S-Y, what's that? T-Wise? T-Wise. Yeah, I think um, T-Wise too is funny, but I don't even follow him. That's mm. the first thing. Okay. So the ones I'm following, right, you know, right, like right. in comparison to those ones, I think Tauma is the funniest for me. Maybe there are other ones I haven't discovered that are mm. funnier than Tauma, but I, as far in my circle right mm. now, it's for it's going to Tauma. So secondly, the lady who came out to put out the street that the person said Tauma, that's that person's opinion. It will be suicide. People are entitled to their opinion. 
The same way, I think I've said it on the same show that I don't think Lassisi is funny. Mm. Do you understand? And I think there's some people that will tell me, no, Lassisi is mm. funny. And I respect your opinion. Same way I believe you should respect my opinion yeah. saying that it's not funny. So it's not a thing of um, the problems are to their problems, but we laugh. Even in between problems, we laugh. They say, Tojuban Sukun Kamaru Jurimo, how do they say that? It's when you're crying, still mm. be able to see. Mm. So, in as much as the problems are much, we are still laughing and still living our lives mm. because we have to survive that's the only way things can get better right and um so finally finally on this woman's stake saying that um it's envy i think that people in the public space and um creative should be open to criticism especially yeah. constructive criticism and not everyone can like your work surely exactly. you know that by now surely even sitting on the table, don't you get bashed? Of course. I get bashed. I like you guys girl. don't want to know the type of comments we get. <laughs> yeah. We get a comment, but it won't stop me from sitting and yes, here and every somebody's, day doing you know, my best job. thing after fried rice. So, <laughs> okay. anyway, I, I, think, I think that Tauma, you can't really take away her, her consistency, one, and mm. her level of um, ambition. I feel like she tries to be better than the last video, in my mm, opinion. Like, sure. she doesn't joke around with... Um, angles and camera quality and sound and all that type of stuff. I'll give her that. Personally speaking, I've laughed a few times really hard, but I don't laugh very often. Mm. Um, a lot of, but I, I've said it on this table so many times when it comes to mm. comedy, I feel like I shouldn't really be speaking because I am definitely not the target audience. A lot of the things that they joke about, 90%. Of the skate makers, I don't find it funny. I think I'm maybe too serious, but laughing about rape or laughing about uh, being gay or laughing about slaps. Tell me, don't you? Like laughing stop. about slaps. So, yeah, okay, laughing okay. about no, slaps. Tell me, it's all about, about slaps. Domestic actually. violence. I don't know. I'm, I just, I'm just not very into that. The one person that I know that has been able to not, um, um, what's it called? Marriage is a good example, but has not really needed to tread on serious things like that and still funny. I'll give Maraj and I also give Josh too funny. Mm. I think he is super creative. His memes, I mean his hymns and his all those other things and his catchphrases. I like don't even find there's it. ways to be funny, but I feel like even in general, I'm just not that kind of person that will sit down and really be watching kids from morning to night. But well, when I God saw the tweets, to bless her also. When I saw the tweets, my question: Which of the Taumas is not <laughs> funny? Because Tauma has like five different characters in one. So which yeah. of them do you not find funny? Because even if you don't find Tao funny, you find Mama Tao or yeah. you find one Monday. of them. Yeah. One of them must be funny. So at least one skit. Come on. Yeah. Anyway, tea time continues right after this break. Stay with, stay tuned, guys. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Right oh, yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. I'm sorry, they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature minded people. Like, I got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So going to our next story, have we concluded on that first story? I think yeah, we have. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Pretty okay. Much. So going on to our next story for the day, we have top-rated Nigerian singer Yemi Alade, also known as the Woman of Steel, who tells ladies to stop the habit of thinking that it is their fault whenever their man cheats on them. In, Yemi op in Yemi's opinion, some men are bound to cheat on their women, even if they have good women in their lives. In her words, but why is it so easy to assume it is the woman's fault when a man cheats? But when a woman cheats, she's called a SLUT. Don't people realize that no matter how good you are, you might never be completely enough for some people. So they cheat and it's not your fault. I feel like this is very um, clean cut, rocket science. So, I mean, it's not rocket science. It's very easy to understand. But in terms of when you put it like that, but I still think there is that... There's that notion that comes with still second guessing yourself to know to to think that you know you could have played a part in 
in making the person cheat because you have promised each other for something. So when somebody breaks that um, trust or that, you know, that bond that you guys had, I feel like it's okay to second guess for a second. But yes, I have to agree with her that there is a level of um, pressure that is put, put on women that isn't the same as for when the table is flipped to men. Do you agree? Um, no, I, I don't agree. I understand that um, women, it's, it's taken out on women a lot harder mm -hmm. when they cheat compared to men because they'll be like uh let's, let me Which borrow said, okay. let me let me borrow nikanon's words now that men have a monogam mm. um a polygamous nature, nature. right mm -hmm. um so no so okay you asked me if i agree to yeah. what she said not 100 percent, right but to an extent yes i do agree but in the sense that um you need to know that when someone cheats on you, it's not okay to second guess yourself. It's not to be asking, am I not good enough? What does she have that I don't have? Those, those questions irritate the life out of me. <laughs> because what you should be thinking is, good reading is some bad rubbish. Damage, mm. you're not good enough for me. If you can't take the whole, me for who I am and mm. love me and not cheat on me, then you're not good okay, enough let me for ask me. You this question. So I dodged the bullet, Let actually. me ask you this question. Do you think that there could ever be a reason why... A justifiable reason why somebody would cheat. A justifiable reason, which is the only justifiable reason, but now you're making me contradict myself <laughs> a lot this afternoon. But the only justifiable reason would be if you're falling out of love with the person. Mm. But why it's not justifiable is, is because like communication is yeah. key. So when you're falling out of love with somebody, just yeah. tell the person. You find people that they're married and they haven't touched each other in years. Hey. Do you understand? Yeah. In years. And they've been married for years as well. But the woman would tell you that this man hasn't touched me in three years. This man hasn't touched me in four years. They sleep on the same bed. That's so crazy. Do you understand? What's so, the point? What is the point? That is obviously... I don't want to say it with um, like it's a fact that that man is obviously getting it elsewhere. Of course. No, it's not a fact. You never know. Maybe the man is not even getting it. It mm. could be any reason. Mm -hmm. Maybe that man too can be very, very uh, loyal. That would be like, ah, oh, this woman was there. You know, there's so many reasons why people feel like they need to hold on to toxic mm. relationship. Some of them would be like, ah, oh, we started this journey together. Mm. When he had nothing, I was there. When I had Story. nothing, she was there. Um, this was the person who helped my business. I promised that mom before her mom died i promised her father before he died just like those are not the reasons think about yourself think about your happiness think about your growth think about your truth some of them will even tell you that i'm only here because of the kids mm. do you understand meanwhile one. the kids are not they're saying that daddy and mommy they're not happy and that's the example of a family you are given you're showing to them yeah so they begin to go they run with that and feel like okay it's fine to not be happy in a relationship but for the yeah. kids and that's the same mentality they will pass on to their children and their children 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 children, children yeah. and the cycle keeps going on and on and on and on so i think communication is key but yes and men usually excuse when they cheat yes, yes. i totally agree because we more feel, so than for women yeah more so than yeah. for women because um you know because what if it because what it's, it's it's not no no i wasn't gonna justify okay. it i'm just saying that because um it's the society that has placed us here do you understand? Mm. It is what the society has to. In fact, when a woman cheats, even the pastor will say, "Ah, and then she eat on." Do you understand? Do you not but see if that... a man should cheat, they will be like, "Okay, it's just the man." You see, one of the reasons why I see that men are excused from behaviors like that, taking us back to Reno's topic, is things is is family situations like that. When you give, because you we can't deny that money is a strong factor, right? Mm. And if you look at the patriarchal system where already, well, now we're, we're trying to change that narrative, but for a lot of places still, it is easier as a man to be financially independent. So mm. already there's an imbalance where mm. the men are more powerful, not just for physical attributes, but because they have more money, right? And then you run a family or a system or a tradition that has now put those same people with the financial um, um, uh, um, advancement that they already have and say that they are the heads of the family and they decide everything. Of course, there will be more... There will be, you know how they say when you're on top, if you fall, your fall isn't so mm. bad because you can fall somewhere in the middle. But if you're already in the bottom, then it's easier to, you know, 
be flat, flat Depending out. Depending on where you are falling to, <laughs> the top, you fall to the bottom from the 12th so, floor. <laughs> what I'm saying is that if you, it's easier for you to have privileges. When you have privileges, like we, we were talking about before, I, no, behind the scenes on the show when we were saying that if I'm if I'm not the rich kid and I was the person that was sitting, do you remember that, that mm. argument that you'd be the scapegoat for whatever? I think that's, what, that's what's happening because men have... Um, Men have a privilege to be able to get get away with things because it's a man's world, and that's why we have that that narrative. But I will always keep saying that if once a woman can start to really um, what's it called equip herself to stand mm. on her own and be financially independent because money speaks. See, you can cheat and nobody. The reason why I said I don't. I'm totally, not saying cheating is good though. I totally uh, don't agree with um, Yemi Alade because I'm not okay when you generalize things. Because I've met girls that their boyfriends have cheated on them and mm. they will tell you that man he doesn't deserve me that's why he cheated they don't see themselves as the problem yeah. i don't know how they go to sleep though but i've heard girls say that anyway tea time continues right after this break Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Make music and people are still by. Some say they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. Mm. Music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. It's still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Nigerian singer Timmy Dakolo has taken to social media accounts to share his take on how real men behave. The award-winning vocalist and songwriter is of the view that real men do not hide their emotions, adding that vulnerability should not be mocked. His tweet reads, Real men show emotions. Strong men struggle too. Vulnerability is an attribute of the strong. Don't let the world be the world people redefine this truth and make you feel something is wrong with you. Are you guys seeing a pattern here? I feel like our stories oh are, it's probably you know, talking to somebody, you, know? you know, I feel like our stories are talking to, to a, a particular set of people today. Well, because of time, I would like to just um, run through this one quickly and just um, say I agree 100% with Timmy Dakolo. And if my girlfriend was here, she would admit it because I've shown her my most vulnerable self. I think um, I've cried. I've express myself in the ways that Ushé, a man soft that a lot of boy. That, well you see that's the problem the fact that i'm getting cold soft, soft boy is a good compliment soft no. soft means like you're calling me soft like a um, oh, sweet boy what, association what, I, soft what, um, it's okay what a, a twitter are you on soft boy is like when something is soft something is nice like it's cool okay calm down Anyways, don't I take my it. compliment back dude okay it's fine i, I got it already and the world got <laughs> it <laughs> so yeah so i think i've shown my most vulnerable self and and that won't stop me from picking up myself the next day and taking charge. Do you understand? Because it doesn't, the fact that I cried in front of you, the fact that I showed you my most vulnerable side, mm. doesn't mean that I won't wake up tomorrow feeling better about myself because of what one or two things you said to me. And then I won't take charge back. It mm. doesn't mean you're weak. It doesn't make you a weak person. Mm. And then this thing we keep t teaching the male child, mm. is when um, the boys don't cry. Mm. You know, that's a wrong Narrative anyway, I'm just going to leave you to talk about it because it is about toxic masculinity for mm. males, and I'm not toxic. So I just I feel like you've said everything, and I cannot mm. add or take away from that. And I wish we had more time, but unfortunately, that is all that we can take today. But thank you so much for watching. Join this conversation on social media with the hashtag at Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on all our previous episodes, including this one and all our exclusive content, by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on RT TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you goes out to my co-anchor, Ifeoluwa Oshunke, for keeping it jiggy with me and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ife Omai. Oh